C5 convertase. What is this? C5 convertase. Is that right? Again, let us remember what was there? Surface molecule. What bound? C3, B, then B, B, both of them together. C3 convertase, then another C, 3B, and now together called C5 convertase. And the remaining story is the same that what will bind here? C5, B, and what will go away? C5, A. C5, B, remaining story is same. 6, 7, 8, 9 going to attack. So, terminal pathway is same in previous. Now, C, 5, B, 6, 7, 8, 9. All this complex is same as in classical pathway. So, this is called final common pathway. C5B 6789 was present in the previous pathway as well as in this pathway. So, this is final common pathway in both activation. But initial steps are different. But both pathways produce C5 convertase before they activate the final events. Am I clear? So, this pathway is called, of course it is not classical pathway, it is an alternative way to activate the complement system. So again thank God they did not put a funny name to it, they simply call it alternate pathway. Alternate pathway of activating complements, that is so simple. So how many pathways do you know now? Classical pathway and alternate pathway. What is the difference? Which is more uh, when bacteria first time come in touch with your surfaces, alternate pathway is activated or classical pathway is activated? Alternate, alternate pathway. Which is more important as uh, first line of defense? Alternate pathway. First line, first line of defense when bacteria come in your body is alternate pathways. And look, when bacteria enter, which will be first activated? Alternate pathway. And once antibodies are activated, produced, then which pathway can be activated? Classical pathway. Are you clear? Now, you can compare it. It is so simple. This is one bacterium. This is another bacterium. Now, if this is the antigen, here is also antigen. Is that right? You have to tell me, what is this pathway? Antibody? C1. Yes, you tell me. 4, 2. What is this? C3 convertase. Then? Three, 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 three. Of course, B, B, B. B Babies remain there. Apples go away. Now it's together. What is this? C5, C5 convertase. And then what is it? 5B, 6, 7, 8, 9. Clear? Now you look at this. Suppose endotoxins. What is first? C3, B. Then what is binding? B, B. Then what is there? C3, B. C3B. Now, these two together were C3 converted converted. and all of them are? C5 I think you know complement system too well. I don't know who taught you. Now, what is this? C5B. B then? C7, Seven. Oh, you know counting. Good. Nine. Right? Now, this pathway here and here, this is, what is that? What is that it called? Final common pathway or terminal events or late events in complement activation. So, this is classical pathway. This is alternative pathway, alternate pathway. This is activated later once antibodies are produced against the bacteria. This is activated immediately as soon as bacteria invade your body, right? This pathway is dependent on presence of IgG, IgM. This pathway is activated without antibodies. This pathway involves C1, that pathway does not involve C142. So classical pathway activate C142, right? And in classical pathway, C3 convertase is antigen antibody C1. They are the initial event. Then they activate C4 and C2. C4 and C2, C4B and C2B are the C3 convertase of classical pathway. But C3, B, B, B are the C3 convertase of alternate pathway. Is that right? Then 
of course, C3B will bind here as well as there, this whole complex will become C5 convertase, these will become also C5 convertase and then final common pathway. Is it difficult to understand? It's easy, isn't it? It's dangerously easy. Okay, so this was another, then there's one more way they have discovered recently, there is one more way some bacteria can activate the complement system. Is that right? What is that? Actually they found sometimes bacteria can activate the complements on the surface, right? Without having antibodies and even without having endotoxins because endotoxins are present on gram negative, negative. but sometimes complements are directly activated on the surface of gram positive also. So then they were thinking and there was no antibody. They said on gram positive bacteria if complements are directly activating and there is no antibody it cannot be classical. And if there is no endotoxin this cannot be alternate, there must be something else. Now they know it. That on some bacterial surface or many bacterial surface they are having a special molecule which is called menin. What is the name of this molecule? Menin molecules. Menin molecules. Is that right? Now actually from our blood a special type of protein which is normally present that is called menin binding lectin that comes from there and that loves to bind with that loves to bind with menin and this protein is named in a very simple way not called protein Abdul or protein as a no very simple name menin binding lectins. This belong to a group of lectins. So menin binding lectin proteins are normally present in our blood and as soon as these proteins bind the surface molecules of menin on the surface of certain bacteria these proteins become active and they activate certain proteolytic enzyme they activate certain proteolytic enzymes and these proteolytic enzymes which are activated by menin binding lectins they actually now you know what will happen they actually yes they break down C4 into what is binding here C4 B and which will go away C4A and they can also activate what is this C2 B and what is lost there C2A. What is this produced? Please tell me. Yes, C3 convertase. Like the C3 convertase of classical pathway. But it, we cannot call it classical pathway because it does not have antibodies. It does not have C1. Is that right? Remaining events are like classical pathway. You know once C3 convertase is there, of course it will activate which one? C3B. And now the apple which has gone out, fragment which has gone away is C3A. A remaining story I think must be clear to you people. What is there? Yeah, C5, B, 6, 7, 8, 9. Final common pathway. Look at, now compare and contrast. This was your classical pathway. Classical pathway of complement activation. This was your alternate. alternate pathway of complement activation. And what is this? Yeah, very easy. Menin binding lectin pathway or lectin pathway simply. Lectin pathway of lectin pathway of complement activation. So now you have three pathways. They have something common. What is the common? They have a common final pathway that all of them produce membrane attack complex but in early steps they differ from each other is that right now already you know classical pathway is activated only when you have antibodies against bacteria especially which group IgG and 